Hey, welcome back to the channel. I thought we would do another integral today. I have something here. This problem's from MIT 2011. We've got problem number 10 on the board. We have the integral of dx over x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. Okay, I started off trying it a few different ways, and a lot of them were actually pretty difficult. And then I ran into something that works pretty nice. All I'm going to do to start is just factor this denominator and rewrite it. So let's just notice that if we write this as x squared plus 1 squared, this is the same thing, just multiplying that out. Now we could try different things from here, but what you'll notice is this is in pretty good shape for a trig substitution. If I just make my substitution and call x equal tan of t, one quick note, most people will use theta instead of t. The reason I use t instead of theta is because my handwriting was never good and I always felt like my theta would look like a zero. Anyway, let's get back. So we'll take our derivative. So dx here is going to be secant squared t dt. Then we'll make this substitution now. So for our dx on top, we're going to have secant squared t dt. And then in the denominator, we're going to have tan squared t plus 1 all squared. Now this piece is actually a really common identity. This is actually the same thing as secant squared t. But now we have secant squared squared, so this whole thing is actually going to be, this thing, whole new denominator is going to be secant to the fourth t. Now from here with the secant squared on top and a secant to the fourth in the denominator, you can actually cancel two of these and write this as secant squared. And the nice thing about that is one over secant squared secant squared is 1 over cosine squared. In the denominator, that's just going to give us cosine squared t dt. And from here, integrating this is really not too bad because we can use our double angle formula and rewrite this as half plus half cosine 2t dt. Then we'll go right into integrating this. So integral here of a half, we're going to have half t plus here we're going to have a half Integral of cos 2t is going to be sine 2t, but we need don't forget about this 2 here. We'll bring that out as another half. And I think it's going to help me out a little bit if I take this sine of 2t and I use a formula on that, and we'll rewrite this. We can use the double angle formula there and write this as 2 sine t cos t. Let's just clean that up real quick. So we're going to have half t plus 1 fourth times 2. We're going to have 1 half sine t cos t. Okay, now to finish it, all we need to do is back substitute, but we have to figure out what these different values are of t, uh, sine t, and cos t. Now for t, it's easy because we can use the property of the inverse right here. From this equation, we can write this as t equals tan inverse of x. And now for sine t and cos t, let's just draw our triangle and see if we can determine those values. So draw like a right triangle. The angle on this thing is going to be t. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that ratio is going to have to be x, so we can look at that as x over 1. So we could write this as opposite being x, adjacent being 1, and then what you can do is square this and square this, so x squared plus 1 squared squared is going to be our hypotenuse, so it's going to be x squared, 1 squared is just 1, so we can write this hypotenuse as x squared plus 1. So our hypotenuse is square root of x squared plus 1. So then let's just determine our sine and cosine values. So for sine of t, we're going to be looking for opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so that's just going to be x over square root of x squared plus 1. Then for cos t, we're looking at adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. Now at this point we have everything we need, right? We found our t value, we found our sine t, we found our cos t, we just need to plug everything back in. So we're gonna have one half, our t value is this arctan of x, then plus one half, sine t is gonna be this, and I didn't give myself enough room. Now for sine t, that's gonna be this value that I moved because I didn't have enough space, I put it in the wrong, <laughs> sine t was in the way, so I moved it down here. Anyway, for our sine t value, we're gonna have just x, square root of x squared plus 1, and cosine t is this thing over here, so 1 times another square root of x squared plus 1. And then to clean this up, we just need to, okay, as you can see, I've done a poor job planning my space, so now our cos t and sine t is over here. Okay, now to finish it off, this is our final solution. We're going to have 1 half arctan of x plus, we just got to multiply this stuff across, so we're going to have, well, then x in the numerator, 
we're gonna have this two. We multiply square root of x plus one times square root of x plus one, we're just gonna get x squared plus one plus c, and that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe. Have a great day.